This is a conservative desire, March 10th, 2016. I, I want to spend this time to try to articulate this issue of free trade, how it relates to Donald Trump, the the old conservative establishment, and, uh, and try to explain it. I'm not sure how good a job I can do, but let's give it a, a whack at it. Um, the free, free, free trade, first of all, is this idea that between countries, the, the fewer trade barriers there are, the better it off the economies are, the people are, and uh, it, takes a, it takes advantage of a wide group of people working and producing different things. And it's a, economically, the result of it is a better economic conditions and especially lower prices. So people, and, and lower prices are a big deal to poor. You know, a lot of times we lose track of the fact that lower prices have a huge benefit to poor people. Um, and But anyway, that's the, you know, kind of the basic idea. I, I remember first being exposed to it in college, and, but, but more particularly with, with Milton Friedman. And I would read his, his uh, defense of free trade, and uh, it's brilliant. And from an economic standpoint, uh, Milton Friedman is, was a genius. Uh, but uh, from an economic standpoint, it's a brilliant concept, free trade. But I always thought that Friedman had it wrong. From the very first time I read it, read about it. And the reason why is because it isn't all economics. And especially in today's world, it is more political than economic. And I always felt that free trade would exist in a world where your enemies, people who are, 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 are really your, 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 your actual enemies or your economic enemies, it's easy for them to manipulate the system not necessarily to the advantage of their own country, but certainly to the disadvantage of the United States. And that's what I always, always, from the very first time I read a treatise by uh, uh, Friedman, I said to myself, wow, this gives an enormous amount of power over our economic condition to our enemies. And then today is a perfect example of that. Uh, China and I'm going to go on a limb here, is an enemy of the United States. Fundamentally at their core, they are a communist dictatorship. They are that. Uh, that is an enemy of the United States politically and, the, and, and, and economically. And what China has done, it's been a state policy. By the way, this policy goes back to Mao. You know, uh, uh, Mao... Uh, uh, would segment his, 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 the population, he would starve, take the food away from hundreds of millions of people and made sure that he had certain, uh, mainly military industries, had all the money they wanted. Uh, he, did, his whole, he didn't keep in mind killing 20, 30 million people if his, uh, the communist government of China was strong militarily and politically. And, and that's what the Chinese are doing today. The Chinese uh, are um, uh, compartmentalizing their society. They're the peasants that don't participate. And then the entire government is supporting industries and subsidizing industries and um, uh, manipulating trade to the detriment of our country. And, and, and it's a political, it's not an economic issue, it's a political issue by a communist enemy of the United States. And, and, and that's the problem. And the Russians have done the same. All, Saudi Arabia certainly does it in their manipulation of oil prices for the last 50, 60 years. So free trade, there has to be agreements that it's really free trade, and you must stick up with them. Donald, what Donald Trump is saying, and, and I want to, just for a second, this idea... You hear this from a lot of conservatives. Uh, Donald Trump wants a 45% uh, tariff on China. That is an absolute lie. Absolute lie. The, I, 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 these guys know better. They know that Donald Trump has never said that. Donald Trump was asked in an interview, what, well, would you mind 45%? Heck, if I needed 45% tariff, he didn't say it this way, 
But that's in, in essence what he said. I I do it. I you know you cannot go into negotiations with China and and not threaten them with the uh, your, your biggest stick. In fact, it's your only stick that really matters. The only stick that really matters is you don't play fair. We will put tariffs on. By the way, I use that ter word tariff loosely. There's all sorts of ways to put tariffs on that aren't quite tariffs. Manipul uh, manipulating the currency is one way of doing it, which China does, and Japan does, and Mexico does against the United States. You know, this is Trump's position is, and this is clear, it's not ambiguous. I want tariffs to be a weapon to force China to have free trade. But if they're not going to agree to free trade, then we must have this threat, or it's meaningless. You go into a negotiation saying, um, oh, I'm not going to do anything. Um, you know, um, we're not going to do anything to fight back. We're not going to, we're not going to take any, any positions. How do you want to do this deal? That's an effect what you do with China. You know, that's an effect because you, 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 everybody is taken off the biggest stick the tariff. And Trump says, quite rightfully, you need the stick. And you have to be ready to use it if you can't get any uh, sort of, of, of movement on the other side. It's part of a deal. And, and it's the, the, for conservatives, the precise analogy to this is a Republican House of Representatives who takes off the table from the very beginning of negotiating with Obama on the budget, takes off the table their only stick. The only stick the Republicans have is, we won't fund you. We will shut the government down. And what, is, what did Boehner do and Ryan do? They take the stick away from the beginning. If you don't, if you don't have a stick and you're not prepared to use the stick, you, you're, you, you'll get rolled over every time. Simple, simple, simple stuff that Donald Trump understands. When he says, I'm a, basically a free trader, he's, he is, what he's really trying to do is negotiate into a position where there's real free trade. And, that, and, and, and you know, I, I, don't, I, th I think that's an explanation of what is going on. Um, and I want to go into one other sliver of this. And as I said, I didn't agree with Friedman when I first read the article of probably in the 60s. And I said, no, he's got it wrong. And because he isn't considering the political ram the, the political part of a country's um, maneuvering of trade. And uh, we, we leave the United States vulnerable. But anyway, I want to talk about one other aspect, this little, little tiny point that I want to bring up. And, and that is that all of this talk about trade and Donald Trump and he, and, he, and, and Donald, in my opinion Donald Trump is totally right on this the conservatives are lying about it the establishment Republicans are lying about it I don't uh, you know Rubio's lying about it Kasich is lying about it they, they, they're just liars uh, about this issue okay and it's outright lie they know the truth they know the truth of this so so one of the one of the side lights here is, this idea that we, we fight on free trade. One thing you must keep your eye on in a fight over trade, and it goes back to why I objected to Friedman, is that when you fight on trade, you quickly get to a point where you're fighting politically and militarily on, uh, uh, or tending toward it in other areas. In other words, you fight China on trade, China's going to come back with stronger military positions in the region and against the United States, it's, it's part of the entire negotiations. It's um, if we, it, and the whole point that Trump's making, and he's absolutely correct. You have a choice: you can roll over, because that, and that's exactly what Obama did, Bush did, all of them did. Roll over, you know, roll over, or you can fight, and fight has risks: has risks to trade, has risks politically, has risks militarily. But that's the choice. Trump has made his statement that he is willing to fight, get better deals. He is right. This is the conservative czar. See you next time.